Hey YouTube, in today's video we're going to be fixing a deleted mini disc that has a failed table of contents. Um, there's basically three main causes of mini disc failure and it will result in a disc that shows up as a blank disc or unreadable disc or something that some, says something like a TOC error. Um, causes of this are you know, basically user deletion, either deliberately or accidentally. Um, bad hardware or failing equipment, which causes a corrupt file structure, preventing the player from accessing the data. Um, or the battery dying during a recording, which causes the final table of contents to never be written to the disk. Um, all these situations are recoverable, and I'll show you the complete procedure to fix them, so that the audio can be fully restored. My fix also retains the original sound quality and bitrate of the recording. Um, I won't be using any sampling over an analog cable, this is all done digitally, so there's no audio quality loss. This fix works with all regular mini disc recording formats, that's normal, mono, LP2 and LP4, and will work on 74 minute or 80 minute discs. Um, the fix won't work on high MD mini disc data discs, as they are recorded in a different way and have different types of compression applied to the audio. And there's also a track stuff on there that is incompatible with this fix. Um, but there are no other videos showing in detail how to accomplish this, so I thought I would record one to show you how. I will show you the full procedure and exactly what equipment you need to do this yourself, and I will also show how to adapt and modify the equipment, because you will need to open the mini disc player so that the player doesn't detect that the tray has been opened when you swap the discs. Um, the only thing that can't be fixed is if your original disc had multiple track markers on it because this resulting fixed mini disc will lose those track markers meaning that all the tracks basically are combined into one long track with the tracks being played in order one after the other. Um, it, it's not a problem because you can always re-add the track markers when the disc is fixed. Um, if you don't have the correct equipment, then you can always send the mini disc to me and I will try to fix it for you. I just ask that you cover any of my costs or time. Um, the legal stuff, if you do decide to follow my tips, I'm not responsible in any way if you damage your mini disc or your mini disc player. Um, if you don't accept this, then please don't follow this guide and leave your mini disc and player in its original condition. Um, I will do this video in two parts. The first part will just show the full procedure with a basic explanation of what I'm doing, but it should contain enough information so that most people will be able to fix the discs straight away. The second part um, will show you the procedure in a lot more detail. Um, I will show what equipment is needed, how the player needs to be modified, and in a much more sort of lengthy description of what I'm doing step by step. I will even show in real time a working mini disc that I will then erase live and then fix back to its original working condition. Okay, let's start with the first video. Here I've got a bad disc. I've just labelled that so that we know exactly what we're talking about. Put it into the player. And if I try to play it, It shows no tracks. And if I try to play it, it just says blank disk. Okay, so how do we fix this? So we take the disk out. And what I have is a regular mini disk, but it's good. It actually plays properly. It's full of music. Um, we're not transferring the music. We're just transferring the format information from the front of the disk onto the bad disk. So what we do is we go into it, we stop it playing, as you can see that it's reading the table of contents. Okay, so we stop it playing, we go to edit, we go enter a new disk name, we then put anything in, I'm just going to put an A, you can see that. Then I hit edit again. Now you see it says complete and up there it's got TOC. That means the table of contents is waiting to be written to the disk. It hasn't been written yet 
because it thinks you're still going to be adding new names to the disk. So what we do is we then got to write this table of contents to that disk. So we need to take this disk out. Again, I'll show you how to modify the disk so that it doesn't know that the tray has been swapped. We put our bad disk in and you can see there it's still got the TOC waiting to be written. So then we just exit the player. So we, we switch it off. So it's now saying table of contents edit. It's now shut down. So now if we go to play this, it was saying blank disk before. It's now playing. And if I can put my headphones to the mic. And the track is actually playing. And you can see up there the music is actually streaming from the disc live. So now that disc is fixed, which is very good. It means I haven't lost all my stuff. Good. And that's all there is to it. I'll follow up the rest of the videos with a more detailed description and exactly how you modify one of these units to be able to do this swap. If you don't modify the unit then it detects the disk has been swapped and it loses that table of content update. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, click on the other video and you'll get all the information you need and what to do next. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.